Michael Pollan, The Botany of Desire, A Plant's Eye View of the World. Get ready to explore the fascinating and symbiotic relationship between humans and plants in our summary of Michael Pollan's The Botany of Desire, A Plant's Eye View of the World. In this book, Pollan reveals how plants exploit our innate desires for sweetness, beauty, intoxication, and control to ensure their own survival and propagation. As you traverse the world of apples, flowers, marijuana, and potatoes, you will witness how plants ingeniously manipulate us into facilitating their spread and development, while addressing our inherent needs and desires. Through captivating examples and thought-provoking insights, this summary will radically shift your perspective on the interconnectedness of humans and plant life. Plants and Humans a mutually beneficial relationship. Plants have developed an ingenious strategy to exploit humans into serving their needs. By appealing to our basic desires for sweetness, beauty, intoxication, and control, plants coax us into helping them reproduce. Domesticated plants like apple trees, for example, use their sweet fruit as an incentive, and farmers unwittingly ensure their continued survival by planting their seeds. This strategy has evolved because plants cannot move on their own and need animals or humans to disperse their seeds. Thus, plants take advantage of our needs, desires, and behaviors, and by doing so, secure their own survival. How Johnny Appleseed Turned America Into an Orchard In the early 1800s, John Chapman, also known as Johnny Appleseed, single-handedly transformed North America's apple industry, creating millions of apple trees in the region. Chapman realized that by planting apple seeds in large numbers, some would eventually thrive in the harsh new climates of America. He traveled ahead of the frontier to sell his trees, making his fortune, and played a crucial role in the sustainable expansion of American settlements. Chapman's success was also due to the fact that apples provided a naturally sweet food that could be made into cider, a luxury most early Americans couldn't afford hence adding to Chapman's good fortune. Today, thanks to Johnny Appleseed, you can find apple trees everywhere in North America. The Lost Variety of Apples The market for apples today has reduced the abundance of apple variety to focus on sweetness and beauty. However, the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Plant Genetic Resources Unit aims to preserve and increase the genetic variety of apples. This is because the more apple genes we can keep alive, the more natural defenses we can use to help apples fight disease and pests. The book discusses how our relationship with plants is affected by our sense of taste and visual desire for beauty. The Power of Flowers Flowers have always been attractive to humans due to their beauty. Appreciation for them is so common that a patient's indifference to flowers is considered a sign of depression. Flowers provided a way for our ancestors to identify fruits, making them crucial to survival. Humans have gone to great lengths to acquire them, leading to instances like Holland's Tulip Mania in 1634. However, beyond their beauty, flowers have a way of taking advantage of other desires humans possess. The Allure and Benefits of Marijuana Humans have a natural inclination to alter their state of consciousness, which psychoactive plants can help achieve. Marijuana, considered a taboo plant, is one such psychoactive plant that can induce altered perceptions and create a cheerful mood. The laws against marijuana inadvertently improved it by leading to indoor cultivation, where growers could experiment and increase the levels of THC, the plant's primary psychoactive component. This has led to a better understanding of the human brain. Marijuana has the potential to decrease mental and physical pain and enhance creativity. However, caution must be exercised as excessive consumption can lead to paranoia and imprudent behavior. The Surprising Relationship Between the Brain and Cannabis Cannabis has evolved from a prescription medicine for pain and nausea to a recreational substance. Researchers have discovered an entire network of neurons in our brain that respond specifically to THC. The brain even produces its own cannabinoid, anandamide. The purpose of this cannabinoid network is still under investigation but might be related to pain relief, 
short-term memory loss, and overcoming monotony. Regardless of its function, the brain's unique receptors reveal that cannabis has had a profound effect on our desire for intoxication. The Power of Potatoes The introduction of the potato to Europe brought an end to malnutrition and famine, leading to a shift in power from southern to northern European countries. Through genetic modification, we've continued to exert control over this vital food source, but with uncertain consequences. Throughout history, the potato has played a vital role in combating malnutrition and famine. Before its introduction to Europe in the 16th century, people in northern European countries suffered greatly from a lack of food. The potato changed that by allowing individuals to grow their own food on a small patch of land, ending their dependence on buying bread. This shift in power led to northern European countries growing stronger and more powerful. Today, we continue to exert control over this essential food source through genetic modification. One example is the new leaf potato, genetically engineered to produce a toxin that kills potato beetles. However, the risks of growing and consuming GMOs are still unknown, and many consumers are distrustful of these products. Overall, the power of potatoes cannot be overstated, and the impact of our desire for control over them remains to be seen. As we reach the end of our summary of The Botany of Desire, it becomes abundantly clear that humans and plants share a complex, intertwined relationship. Through our shared history, plants have managed to thrive and develop by tapping into our desires for sweetness, beauty, intoxication, and control. We've discovered how apples and their sweetness have shaped North American agriculture, how flowers captivated our hearts with their beauty, how marijuana has tapped into our thirst for intoxication, and how the humble potato has fed our hunger for control. Ultimately, this book teaches us that we are not simply the masters of plants, but rather engaged in a delicate dance of mutuality, fulfilling each other's needs in a never-ending cycle of interdependence.